Good morning and welcome back to these online classes. As we are dealing with the New Testament archaeology, last time we have been discussing on the uh, census. Yeah, on the census and we have just covered that uh, topic and today we'll just go for uh, Bethlehem the birthplace of Jesus Christ and in this archaeological research we are going to clearly see whether there was a place called Bethlehem or did Jesus Christ really born in Bethlehem because uh, his father uh, Joseph was from, you know, uh, from Nazareth, from the place of Galilee. But how come Jesus Christ born in Bethlehem? Okay, so um, uh, according to the Bible, it says uh, the census has been decreed by Augustus. And since Joseph was from Bethlehem, from the lineage of David, Okay, he went off to the Bethlehem to be registered or uh, to get the census. And uh, while they went off there to uh, Bethlehem, the Bible records that Mary uh, bore a child who is called Jesus. Okay, that is what we see from the book of uh, Luke account. Okay, and we see even from Matthew chapter 2. Okay. Now let's see what the archaeological research says about this. Okay, do or not. The place where Jesus was born has never been seriously disputed. Okay, the place where Jesus was born was, uh, was never been seriously disputed. Nobody disputed about this place because there is no much to dispute to. There, there, was, uh, there it was no confusion. And it is very much clear, even from the historical point of view, even from the biblical point of view, that Jesus Christ was born in Bethlehem. Both Jerome and Paulinus of uh, Nola provide evidence that the cave in Bethlehem under the present church of the nativ nativity was identified as the birthplace before the time of Hadrian. Now there was two uh, men who is called Jerome and uh, Paulinus. They both, you know, provided the evidence that in the cave of Bethlehem, the cave, uh, there was a cave in Bethlehem, and uh, underneath of that, or uh, in that cave, in the present day, there was a uh, there is a church by the nativity that means by the native people they built a church over there, and before the church has been born, uh, uh, built there, and before Hadrian, they discovered that that cave was the birthplace of Jesus Christ. Okay, this was um, provided by uh, Jerome and Paulinus. Of, of Nola okay so the evidence has been provided by these two men before the time of Hadrian okay who is this Hadrian uh, see uh, thus almost into the first century Hadrian who lived in 117 to 38 okay 80 uh, mark the site by planting a group of a group of trees there in honor of the Roman god Adonis. Now, when this Hadrian came, people were you know regarded that was the place of Adonis. Okay, because he has planted a tree, uh, a, 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 you know, a group of trees. Ben means a couple of trees in honor of Roman god Adonis. Okay, so people come there to worship the god called Adonis, might be the Greek god, uh, uh, Romans god. Okay, so they regard that was a place to worship uh, the Roman god 
Adonis. Okay, the Roman god Adonis. In the second century, that was the first century. In the second century, Justin Martyr wrote, When the child was born in Bethlehem, since Joseph could not find lodging in the village, in that village he took up his quarters in a certain cap near the village. And while they were there, Mary brought forth the child and placed him in a manger. Now, uh, we have so many, you know, uh, uh, movies regarding Jesus Christ. We have so many drama played by the church. And then we, every Christmas, we used to play, uh, uh, you know, the skit, the drama of how Jesus Christ was born. And even in the Christmas card, we see that Jesus Christ in a manger, then some uh, cows will be there and angels coming there. Then the shepherd coming together, along with that, the three wise men with their gifts bowing down before Jesus Christ. And that was, uh, actually, that is not the biblical. That was not biblical. Now, when you read the Bible carefully, the three wise men came to visit Jesus Christ. And that was in the room, not in the manger. Okay, that was in the room, in it was not in the manger. And when Maggie came, when when these wise men came, uh, Jesus is now almost two years old. Okay, it is not a small babe. It has uh, been two years old, according to the record that we see. Now, and in the skit or in the drama or even in the film we see that those people who are in the Bethlehem they don't allow these people to uh, you know uh, come to their house and they chase it out but the word of God says in Luke chapter 2 verse 7 there was no room for them in the inn I and an inn that means hotel okay hotel there was no room in the hotel and naturally we have to understand that uh, no hotel has a manger okay but we see the Jesus Christ born in the manger so it might not be in the hotel what we see and what we heard till today is that they came to a house and the houses there was no room for you but a small lady came and a small boy came and told uh, Mary and Joseph since uh, Mary is pregnant and it's time to, for her to deliver so you can have this uh, you know stage or you know the manger so they get, they have given a place but actually that is not there in the bible and nobody knows what exactly happened but according to archaeological research okay according to the archaeological research justin martyr says that since there was no room for them in uh, to lodge in in the village so joseph took his quarters in a certain cave near the village and he pitched the tent over there and they were staying in the uh, cave while they were staying in the cave mary brought forward uh, christ and placed him in the manger and where do we come this manger we don't know it might be they comes with the camel with the they comes with a donkey and they might be carrying the you know uh, the manger always wherever they go because it was a sandy place and you know uh, they may not have a proper place so they always get ready for the food of those animals okay so they might have been carrying the manger or they might have borrowed from the village nobody sure that but archaeological uh, they have researched that Jesus Christ was born in Bethlehem, in the cave of Bethlehem, I mean, okay? So that is what it says. Because the Bible did not record uh, properly the proper place of where Jesus Christ was born. Now, the, only the record uh, that we have is in Luke chapter 2 and verse 7. I'm reading for you. And she brought forth the firstborn son and wrapped him in the swaying clothes, and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. Because there was no room for them in the inn. That is, uh, that, that was, uh, that is the only information we got from the Bible. 
there was no room for them whether the room uh, so that uh, they have gone to you know a place where all these cows and you know the the, the sheep are staying and so they provided a manger nobody knows that one but according to the archaeological research they say is that they were living in the cave they were pitching their uh, uh, tent in the cave and they lived there while they were there Mary brought forth Jesus Christ okay that was the information we get from those archaeologists now this idea okay this idea is been supported by the second century proto evangelium of James preserves the same information so the second century proto evangelium of James okay preserve the same information and Origen wrote that the cave at Bethlehem and the manger at the cave were famous in these parts even among the people alien to the faith since it was in this cave Jesus was born. Now Origen also suggests that it uh, wrote that it was in this cave at uh, it was in, the, in that cave at Bethlehem and the manger and the cave were famous okay the cave was also famous and even the manger where Jesus Christ laid was also famous in this part for, uh, for those people uh, even for the people who are alone to the faith okay since it was this cave that Jesus was born so Oregon also uh, giving the evidence that Jesus Christ was born in the cave of Bethlehem now Isubius wrote that the emperor and his mother Helena built a church over the cave now after a long period of time okay this emperor and his mother Helena built a church over the cave adorning the place with lavish magnificent a later chapter in Eusebius, Eusebius work states that Helena erected the church, a point confirmed by Sojomen in about 430, as well as by um, Sulpicius uh, Servius in about 395. Now, the emperor and his mother Helena built a church adorning the church place and lavish with magnificent that means they built a beautiful church and this uh, uh, story has been written in the latter chapter of Isabius that Helena erected a church and this point has been confirmed by two persons Solomon in about 430 as well as uh, uh, Sulpicius Servirus in about 395. So that was the you know uh, discoveries of the archaeology. Whatever it may be, we are very confirmed that Jesus Christ was born in Bethlehem, and whatever the Bible records is right. Because the word of God says in Luke chapter 2 that there was no room for them, and so they have to uh, you know. Uh, uh, search for their uh, birthplace so Jesus Christ was born in a manger that is what the Bible records and even the archaeological evidence has uh, written that Jesus Christ was born, uh, born in a manger and the Bible did not record whether it is in the inn or in, in the village uh, and in the house since the Bible is silenced um, on this part, and archaeological evidence has proven that Jesus Christ was born in the cave in Bethlehem. So, uh, sometimes we have to accept, you know, the record of the archaeological evidence because the Bible is silenced in this place. But this archaeological evidence is supporting the Bible. Or there was no contradiction between the uh, Word of God and this archaeological, you know, uh, research. 
So we are very much clear by this uh, lesson that Jesus Christ was born in Bethlehem. And since the Bible did not record whether it is in the inn or in the house or in the cave, but the archaeological evidence has proven that it was in the cave. So let us assume that Jesus Christ was born in the cave, in the manger. Okay? And let us not be confused that the wise man coming right up to Jesus Christ was born, and that was the uh, uh, that was not true even from the bi uh, biblical point of view. So Jesus Christ was born in Bethlehem. The wise man come after two years back because Herod has uh, you know uh, proclaimed or ordered that every male child born under from two years and under it has to be killed. So two years. Why it is two years? Because Jesus Christ was approximately two years by this time. Okay, that was the order from Herod. So we have to understand that when the Magi, these three wise men came, Jesus Christ was almost two years old. It was not a small infant babe. Okay, so that is what we see from this lesson today. So tomorrow we will, or uh, next class, we will see the public ministry of Jesus in Galilee okay the public ministry of Jesus in Galilee so uh, as for today we'll wind off our class from here God bless you and have a nice day